Hello, welcome to Texture Mill. In this session, we will cover one more option from the toolbar of Access Client Solution, which is related to SQL script. Okay, so let me show you that option. So once you hover and look for this, just go and search for this icon, which uh, the description is run SQL statement and sale command, and then simply click here. So once you click here, it will open this screen for you where you can perform all the SQL related operation that we perform on DB2 STR SQL uh, screen. Okay, so same operation you can perform here also along with some additional features. So in this portion, we will discuss about those features like how what are thing we can implement here. Okay, so first of all, I will start with a very basic query which will fetch the data from a one physical file. So for that, I will run one query select star from my library name this time I'm using QGPL which is system library dot EMPPF so one difference is here only like whenever you are trying to access any file from a library then you have to spe uh, then you have to qualify it with dot instead of slash in STR SQL what we were doing we were using slash but here we need to use this dot okay so from this query itself you can find one feature like it highlights those fields which is keywords right so you can see these the select a keyword from a keyword so it highlights so which provide a better use uh, visuals to the developer fine now how to run this query so to run this query we have three options so firstly select this then hover your mouse here so you can see run all so what it will do it will run the query all the queries which is mentioned in this document second is for run from selected and third one is run selected so as per your requirement you can select any of this method i will go with run all so i will just click here run all so it will execute my query and will show the data so you can see now the data is uh, displayed on this screen okay so this is the one advantage from here you can find all the different means all the keyword with different color and there are three options to execute the query you can run all the query at a time you can uh, run the query as per selected query as well i have configured one way through which if i click double click on this particular statement it will automatically execute it so i will also let you know what, like how we can customize this option so that whenever you click on statement it will execute that query fine now we will see the another feature another feature is suppose you have okay before that i will show you the prompt option so let's say if i don't know what query i need to hit on here i forgot the thing so what i can do i can press control space so once you press control space it will provide you the suggestions this is very good feature it will provide you suggestion for template like select star from table so you can use this template and then you can customize it as per your requirement so similarly there are many other template insert update delete merge create truncate values so these options you can use and then you can configure as per your requirement so for now i will show you this option so if i hit enter here so it provide like this okay so from here i can simply customize as per my requirement let's say i want to fetch data from qgpl dot emppf so qgpl is my file library name and emppf is my physical file name fine now suppose i don't want to go and look for all data instead of that i want to uh, show only particular data so what i can do i can instead of asterisk i can press f4 here so once you press f4 uh, near asterisk it will provide you all the proposal that you can use so from here let's say i want to show only the employee name so i will select this and you can see if i run this query again i will double click to execute so it will show only employee name so this is the good feature right instead of uh, writing fields manually you can select it from here so if you press f4 here it will show you it will provide you the proposal like if i let's say if i want to delete this instead of that i will take f4 again and from here i can select the fields as much as i want to instead of all column i will select these three fields and hit enter so it will select these three fields only okay and if i execute this it will show only th these th three fields so this is the feature of um, run sql script okay 
another thing is similarly if I don't want to fetch this PF instead of that I want to look for other PF so I will take F4 on QGPL dot and once I take F4 it will list down all those files which resides in library QGPL and from that list I can select as per my requirement uh, let's say if I want to work for any other physical file but I don't remember the name but I know that that file is resides in QGPL library so I can take F4 and from the list of the libraries which resides in QGPL I can select my file so these are the all files which resides in QGPL library okay so this is the one feature and from there like if you want to select anything you can select just select that field let's say I want to hit use this and then hit enter so it will be selected so this is the one feature of using this query right now I don't have authority to this uh, file so that's why it is giving me error also these uh, fields are also not there right so let me try with a trick I think this is not my file so it will give error yes I don't have authority so it is giving me error not authorized to object this because we are using public server and uh, we are not provided with this authority fine now another thing let me run this query again select star from qgpl dot emp pf so I'm running this query as of now we are just running this a small query but let's say if there is any long query and I want to like properly structure that query then how we can do this we have feature for this just look for this uh, option format selected and just select this so you can see this query is now formatted so this is very good uh, feature of this option means uh, through this option you can op just structure your query so if you are working with long query you can select this option and it will uh, format it okay another good feature of this is like if I want to use some template so there are many predefined examples so if you hover here you can see insert from example select this and here you can see all uh, queries example are given here as uh, as per the categories like DDL, DD, DML, DCL so let's go for DDL so here you can see all those uh, templates are given here create a schema if you want to create a schema it will provide this create or replace alias for table so these are the all option that you can perform you can simply use from here so let's say I want to add one column to my PF so I can go and select this and simply use insert so it is added now I can customize it so instead of table I will go and make the changes in QGPL dot emp pf you can use any library it is not main required that you always supposed to use this QGP instead of that you can use your own library let's say Sharmit one I can use Sharmit one as well okay so alter table so in this case I don't need to remember all the syntax because I can reuse this and customize it so alter table my library name I mentioned add column 3 integer so let's say I just want to add another column so I will just double click here okay I need to select this first and double click uh, let me check why it is not working so what what it, it is giving that this column is already existing okay so for that because we I have already used this option so I will make it as column 3 uh, column 4 now I will try to run this so it is completed successfully so if I run this query select star from QGPL dot EMP PF and if I run this it should show the fourth column as well we can see the fourth column is added okay so this is very good feature like through which you can select any option from this alter table to add a foreign key constraint hash partition so there are many options template you can use from here then similarly we have DML option insert into column table just select here and use it then it will provide you the template and you can customize it similarly we have DCL okay and routine function procedure statements so ne no need to remember all these things uh, syntax you can simply use it from here S special register built-in global variable miscellaneous IBM I service 
DB2 mirror SQL build function custom okay so these are the way through which you can use any of the function and then you can customize it as per your requirement and then you can run that query now suppose I want to create my own example let's say if I have one query that I'm going to run on daily basis so I will make example of it and then I can reuse it so for that you can use this third option save as new example from here you can give any name to this description let's say show data okay so you can see and category if you want to change Sharmat file for example I just give this name okay and show data so what it will do it will create a sample for this use description is checked and where it is saving uh, saving you can see that it is an example folder and click on ok file has been saved successfully now whenever I need to execute this query I will simply go here and I will go for my option show show data so this is the option that we have added so simply go and execute okay so this is very good feature through which you can save your own example as well you can use predefined example as well as you can add your own example another one is insert generated SQL if you want to insert generated X SQL you can use this option okay uh, so these are not uh, used frequently but if there is any requirement from here you can add this option fine another thing job log if you want to check the job log you can select from here it will show you all the job log related details so whatever the jobs are running here it will provide all this, those information okay now another options are here explain so if you want to explain any particular query not the simple one if you are working for a complex query then you can use this feature explain run and explain explain while running and this option is for printing if you want to print take a print you can take the print as well okay so these are the th some options now I will show you like if you have uh, saved all your queries there are a couple of queries that you have inserted and run here so you can save that as well you can just go from save as you will find three options PC file IFS stream file source physical file you can select and then you can give name to your file and then for now I'm just saving with the same title untitled untitled 1.sql so it will save this file so next time if I want to reuse this file I means reuse this query and whatever the files I have written here I will go and I will go and simply click on open and from open tab I will select my query so I will go open PC file untitled dot uh, so you can see now all the queries are retrieved so from here you can save the queries as well okay now I will quickly show you that option through which we can double click and execute the file so for that you can go on edit from here go to preferences and just check this option run a statement and double click so there are many options that you can use and as per your requirement you can select this option then we have result tab content assist tab SQL formatter fine so this is also good feature if you want like we are formatting the SQL but if you want to customize formatting also then you can customize from here you can select and let's say if I want to show all the keyword and built-in function in lowercase so I can select it from here by default it is on uppercase but if you want to change it you can change okay do not change option is also there uppercase first letter so these option you can select layout maximum line word uh, line length indent how many lines of indent you want cursors right new line on comma new line on and or or so as per this you can change okay and then you can see the output here and then you can apply so if you have uh, implemented any changes just click on apply and then click on ok these are some graph related information so just for now I'm clicking on ok so we, we just covered all these options new open save these are I shortcut cut copy paste these formatting options these are the run option these are the run and explain so if you are working with complex uh, queries you can use this it will explain okay then in edit these are the some things that we have already covered like example assist search so there are many options that you can explore right 
as per your requirement if you want to clear all the messages let's say if I go over here so there are multiple messages so I can clear this also view and from here I will I will go and clear messages so it will clear my all messages so instead of showing all messages, you can customize it yourself by your own from here you can customize font if you want to customize it okay but I would suggest to go with default because everything is perfect but if you still want to customize it you can customize it from here output and mess messages connection if you want to make any other connection you can select run so these are run explain monitor this is related to system performance or SQL performance okay editors so these are the options for editing tools these are the other option like for data transfer these things we have checked right help if you want to take help you can take help from here you can learn from here okay so these are the basic operation that you can perform through this SQL script and this is very good thing you can explore, explore many other things as well as uh, the video length is going to extend more than as more than uh, as we are expecting so that's why I'm just covering all those things which are useful and as of now you can use this but later in deep if there is any requirement we will shortly cover those features also as well okay so yeah we discussed the few points like uh, taking prompt from this screen which is useful formatting if you want to format the queries you can format it run this examples are very good thing like if you want to hit any query then you can simply select and insert example from here you can add your own examples as well okay so yeah these are the options that we can utilize i hope uh, it is clear to all of you and in the next portion we will discuss few more things so thank you for watching Tech